this is the finals of World Pool League 2002. Evan Reyes vs. Steve Davis. Here we go then! An absolutely how apt that we're at the University of Warsaw because we've got two professors of the spherical sciences contesting our final. And this is Rob, number one. Efren Reyes, genius. Against Steve Davis. Should be absolutely riveting Andy Richardson, who's illuminated our commentary with his insight as a top Euro player. Any particular thoughts on the match in general? Well said, I think we've got the two most consistent players in this tournament. Both played really well in this tournament now. Should be a great game. Race to nine racks. You would expect Reyes's experience at one level to be a dominant factor. But you have to set against the fact that like Bustamante, well said, I think he played that. Tried the one nine. Combination shot already. I was going to say Reyes's imagination against the nuggety play. But who's come out the most imaginative? Well, he's very unlucky there, Sid. Knew he was crashing into the nine ball. Knew it could go in the corner. Never imagined he could land behind this four. Thus the game. Here we are. Eight of the world's finest came here. Earl Strickland perished on the route. Steve Knight of England, the holder, dropped away. Rico Dix of Holland, the world champion. Mika Eminen went out to Davis. Ball in hand to the magician. <coughs> Davis certainly looking up for the contest, Andy. Yep, tried to escape the snooker there, hit the ball deliberately at pace. Had a chance of making it in the corner, and if not, wanted to leave distance between the balls. Didn't manage to make contact. This tournament's had everything. Efren here, had his hair and Elvis style for a while, was singing karaoke. They were filling me and Andy up with the best chicken and rice we've ever had. There's been brilliant play, there's been golden breaks. Now, it's the big one, the final. Reyes getting table time at first. Good position on the five ball there, Sid. A few fishermen's friends wouldn't get a miss in the audience. But our voices lasting out. Despite giving the tonsils a batter in, trying to keep tabs on these brilliant players. Reyes, finish tickle, green six. Then has to work down table for the brown seven. Playing this with right hand side, Sid. Lots of side to run across to the side rail. Yeah, prime position on the seven ball now. Brown seven into the corner. He'll be stunning out off the rail. Leaving himself an easy eight. Looking good for one zero. And again, the stun shot with the right hand side, making this nine ball of formality. This is round number two. $165,000 in the Tokyo Open. A few uh, weeks back, Efren. It's rumored that certain Filipino charities have done very well out of that win. Not for the first time. A man revered in the Philippines. Davis into the pack. 
It's a tremendous break there, Sid. Look at the control. Like a rattle shutter. Wow. Yep. Flipping on the one. Red three. Is the gimme. Pink four. Over this bottom corner pocket. Five's near the same corner. Good chance for Steve, this. No problem, ball. Davis's first major final in World Pool. He has gained respect. Intercontinental respect. I've had Earl Strickland stood next to me. Jim Rempe just taking off his baseball cap in admiration. The Filipinos saying, how can this man move the white the way he does? Like how do you get the Carnegie Hall? You practice. Perfect on this nine. What a piece! Steve is direct. Reyes. This is rock number three. Final. Reyes is leading 4-2. Yep, Steve did well the last rack. Managed to peg back from 4-1 down. Vital rack he won. If he can take this one, he's well back in the game. A slaughterhouse of a break. Oh, eat your heart out, Kurt Vonnegut. Well said. Is there anything left? <laughs> Tremendous break. No straightforward two ball. Is anything straightforward with this man? Any chance of one of these brilliant Filipino banks? I would imagine so, Sid. He'll certainly be contemplating it. Was a time when the Scottish had the Bonnie Banks? <laughs> Not anymore. Any other options in the bank in the middle? There's always the option to play safe. You just never know with Efren. Play is like Gascoigne. When they said play on the left hand side of midfield and he played on the right hand side. He's played the safety. I think he's left him sight of this two ball. Proud appreciating how difficult it's going to be for Davis to get anywhere from this position, though. It's a race to nine this final. That last shot there shows you the respect Absolutely. that everyone has for Steve's game. Key point. Some of the other games we've seen him attack balls like that, taking banks on. Always a risk. But he's trying to apply the pressure here. He doesn't want Steve coming back at him. Certainly doesn't. Certainly doesn't. Uh, to mind comes quickly the, uh, the epic battle at Cardiff in the middle of 2000 when Davis was 8 2 down to this man <laughs> and won 9 8. One of the most remarkable games I've seen. Now that's not going to be forgotten on Efren. He came back from 8 2 to beat Reyes 9 8. Oh, no wonder the maestro has given him respect. No wonder the maestro is nervous. They're looking to clip this two ball into the corner. It's right. the position that he's looking at for the red three ball. It looks very fine, does this? I'm presuming he can cut it into the pocket. It's 
Very fine. That's 4-2. Davis was 4-1 down. Very tense atmosphere here at the university. Two professors of the science giving the lecture. Yeah. in. Very good shot there, Sid. He's Especially that ball. given where he's landed it. An extreme side on that ball to decrease the angle, to leave him position on the red three. Part of the pocket. And you to within the millimetre, how much else is going to miss the middle bag by the white. Looking good then for 4 3. Into the cush again, using run inside that time, brings the ball out to make this shot easier and particularly to land perfect on the nine. Perfect on the nine ball. He's coming back. It's the four three. Steve wins the rep. Joe Stalin would have approved, because this joint in Warsaw is packed. Davis, looking like a gunslinger. Eager for the tussle. Face frozen. This is rough number eight. Michaela Tab. Top referee. The crisp school mom like tunes. Echo in a descant to the clatter in action, particularly at break time. Well, nothing down for Steve. <laughs> Left effort in a long one ball. But this white will be travelling. Four three, Reyes leads. Trying to clip this rightward and get position on the blue two. <laughs> Did I say trying? Made that look easy. Round off the two rails. Prime position again. Angle on the red three. You never want to be straight at this. Till you get to the nine, that is. Yep, just holds the three. Leaves an angle for the pink four. No grinning avuncular face here. Massive respect for Davis. Just contemplating his options here. Position on the orange five. Well, especially in respect of the green six as well. Uh, that's the key factor in working out how he's going to play to the orange. That's right, Sid. Spot on. He knows he can get on the five. But he needs to make sure he's well on the six ball, the green six, to get back down for the seven. And that's the position he's in now. Well, you thought rack over here. Off the side cushion. Draw the ball back down the table. He didn't plan that, but I think he might have got away with it. Well, did he want to be the other side of the nine, really, I think? Yes, he did, definitely. A wry smile there. He's chuckling. Well, oh, you don't get to be the boss magician. Well, you had better look. Simple stun stroke draw for the simple straight line. F wins the rest. This is rough. 
number nine. In this commentary booth, but it's hot out there. This final effort in Reyes. 5-3 up. Race to nine against Steve Davis. Not as much pasty in that break. Maybe not, maybe not Sid, but uh, still made balls. The question is, does the one pass into the corner? Slight shake of the head. Tells me maybe not. Well, now. Like a gargoyle on a cathedral. Ten, Sid. Yes, pensive two. If it doesn't pass, what's going to construct in the way of safety? Well, Sid, he may play a push out here. And the logic behind the push out was what? Possibility that he's. Two. He's put the two ball at the bottom of the table. Now this one looks like it may pass to the red pocket, the red three. But he's left the two in such a position that if Steve was to make the one, it'd be very difficult to get onto the two. Whereas Ephraim possibly feels that if he attempts it and runs through, you never know with Ephraim, he may have a trick up his sleeve. Full position on the two afterwards. Right, so now Davis probably knows that. So, may not take the attacking option. That's right, Sid. Deliver it. Yes, he was certainly playing safe there. Sending the ball back up onto the rail. Maybe a slightly better result than he intended, but... Lands in the jaw. Fortunate there. Legend of the game, Efren Reyes. Came on the scene, William Cesar Morales. Took a lot and lots of pretty green off, lots and lots of Yanks coast to coast. And now we're showing soon, I would have thought, for the American Hall of Fame. Steve Davis in his first major pool title. Paid his dues there. Has slogged since the end of '94. Learned a bit here and a bit there. A bit on the break. A bit on the safety play. A bit on the use of the wide pocket. A bit on cheat in the pocket. Nasty position this for Steve. Doesn't like it. Five three down. Rest the nine. Well, from where it in, a direct hit is difficult. But from that angle, you see he's got half the ball away, Matt. Could have done without that, though. Trying to send the one back onto that rail there. He was in trouble there. It was a very difficult position to be in. Efren, extreme check side on the cue ball to bring himself back for the two in the same pocket. The key ball in this rack looks like the pink four. Simple two into this corner. No problem making the three. It's just the position on the four that counts. Four to five. You could work that out. You'd fancy him for this rack. Oh, work in the white beautifully there to work this feather flick in, is it? A little bit too fast, I think. Yeah. He ain't swatting Polish midges. Yeah, didn't. Well, you're talking, you're talking less, in, you're talking half inches. 
Yeah, that was the problem. He was looking to leave the similar shot, but if he'd had less of an angle, he'd have been behind the four there. So, Don Rubens, for Davis. Steve checking both top pockets. I could touch the atmosphere. With rubber gloves on, it's so, so hot. It's the audience have applauded the players to the table. Such is their involvement. Such is their like pride of two great stars of world sport meeting here. I guess the unique combination, look coming from the discipline of snooker. <laughs> so we could look who is one of the greatest that ever played pool to see the mutual respect and the crowd's awareness of it. And you say they're brilliant because they're not applauding too heavily in case they put them off. They'll hold the applause. As in when he gets to the nine, which is looking pretty soon, he was continuing the comeback. Top draw clearance this. Great four ball. Use the full size of the pocket with the orange five. Under extreme pressure. Steve wins the rest. This is rock number 10. When you beat uh, Reyes, who was 8 2 up in the World Championship, followed by Yusuke, followed by Takahashi. The business look. We'll have a bit of fun if we can square that at five apiece. This would be a good rack for him to win, Sid. His own break. A tremendous break there. Pity that the blue will run on quite so much, but he may be able to manufacture a shot left. What? Yes, he's unfortunate there. The standard of his breaking in this tournament equal, I feel, to anybody else's. With you there, with you there, Bustamante was the one who sorted it out first. Too. I think he set the pace. They do watch each other. They watch each other's breaks and see just what works. Uh, Bustamante first to sort of set the, the cry that the heavy brick was going to work here rather than the soft cut brick, which is its linear opposite. But Davis, you're dead right. This brick has been as good as anybody's. Safety shot. Well, Sid, he's unfortunate there. Very unfortunate. I think he's left a combination. He knows it. Slightly hampered here. He'll be bending the cue ball. Yeah, but the, uh, with his skill at the swerve, you'd say it was all done, you'd get it. That's it. <laughs> well, <laughs> they were applauding the combination and the fact that the other ball went in as well. But Efren would have preferred that two to stay up. He's left himself something to do with his pink four now. Not easy by any means. Rusnik apparently with left hand, left hand side. Looking lovely on the orange, but like you said, that was a difficult, difficult pink. That was his problem, Sid. Wasn't enough to just make the ball. You need to run through for the orange five, but it's so much more difficult. And this is a fantastic chance for Steve to level the match. At 5-5, five five, this would be anybody's. And remember, it'll be in Reyes' head what happened at the World Championships of Cardiff in July 2000 when Davis was 8-2 down to Reyes and then clattered through to 9-8 win.
just tops through to the bottom cushion. We got a tied game, five apiece. Steve wins the rest. Absolutely hooked on this game as our host Jones might let you know in the same mood as the crowd almost too scared to clap because it was so good they didn't want to look ungentlemanly and unladylike. This is rock number 11. Back to these players. 5-5. Five, five. Race to 9. Efren really hit those balls there. He's a shot on the one ball. And what a situation to be in. That's what happens when you go karaoke playing instead of practicing, that's singing. It. Race to four for the title. By no means easy, this shot. He'll be attempting in the corner pocket. Across the far side of the table for the red three next. Superb shot. Yep, superb draw. Great position, Sid. Absolutely. That was a key to this rack. Again, he's left the angle on the four. Four in the corner. Off the rail. Back out for the orange five. Perfect position. Like as we've come to expect from him. Like a yo-yo expert. As though he's got that white on a piece of string. Oh, the sort of money Efren Max on a piece of gold thread. <coughs> straight forward eight ball into the middle. Leads him straight on the nine. Now to do, like to say, but tap in this. And tap in the nine. This time for six five. Evan wins the rack. Welcome back. Rack twelve underway. Reyes leading six five. Remember, it's a race to nine racks. KG KG stuff here in this final. Efren Reyes had Steve Davis snookered. Now Davis has replied in kind. It's still six five to Reyes, do Andy? Yep, and is Efren looking at this bottom rail? I think he is. Two ball, that's the blue two, onto the black eight, he'll be trying here. Well, <laughs> bonus. Didn't intend the three ball, but he'll take it. He'll be ominous for Davis. Yeah. Better luck. But Efren is... Renowned for saying, the more I practice, the more lucky I get. I think it's fair to say that's it. Very delicate shot he's played. It's difficult for Steve now. Davis, in his first major world class level pool final, wrist and nine, trails at the moment. And Riaz could well step in here, given the lie of the blue two to start the run. Yeah, not straightforward for him though. He's got the two down the rail, but he needs to get back across for that pink four ball. Consequently, overcut the ball. And he's left Steve a good chance here. Sure has. Well. Not happy with that shot. 
two into the corner pocket he'll be playing but the pink four he needs good position on the orange five to come back down for the green six at the bottom of the table beautifully weighted shot has he come oh, far enough Sid? Low. it's it's absolutely straight if it is, he'll be happy, I think. Nah. Well, it was so straight that he had to draw. He had to do severe draw. Well, no, no, no. You run on. You didn't want that angle. That is the wrong angle for the brown. Yeah, definitely overhit that one. He was looking to leave that in the top corner. What does he do here? Does he play safe? Does he play the bank? Options as always. Just about one of the half dozen best players ever in the world sitting there like a predator already. You can't give Reyes any crumbs. Long. Tremendous pot there. He's been unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Tremendous seven ball in the corner. Look at the position of the white now. Wrong end of the table. Very, very difficult pot. And also, position has got to be got by topping it through. Yeah, we had to play that, Sid. That was a shot to nothing, in effect. We say that, but we know what Efren's like. Does he look at the back shot? Knowledgeable crowd, yeah. Appreciating Davis's attempt. Davis going giraffe necked with interest. Will the maestro plant this? Long, we reckon, bottom right. Bottom left. Anywhere he likes. Well, we couldn't quite see exactly how he was addressing that ball, but we both had a rough idea of how long he was prepared to take that bank shot. This for 7 5. F with the rep. just said he did take the hardest version of that bank but when you're a genius <laughs> all banks look the same as Jesse James yes Sid this is rough number if 13 you were at home there you'd have thought that the other pocket was the better corner but Efren knew he had to get back down the table for the nine ball it gave him better position and this is a big rack for Efren now And five. Reyes needs only two more. But he is up against six times world champion. And a man who, since the end of 94, has worked on all aspects of this nine ball game. Steve Davis. Well, Sid. He really needs this rack. If he can take this rack, he has the break in the next. Just needs to land shot. Maybe a fraction too straight on this. He can still get position. But a little bit more of an angle would have been better for him, I feel. Put an extreme bottom spin on it. Bottom right hand side. 
to increase the angle. What a shot. Perla. Mean any amount of that there. The three has two ahead to race the nine. Slightly hampered by the green six here. But he still, should still make this ball. Pink, next one on. And the draw shot just north of the middle of the table. Maybe looking at two rails here. He may be running through it. Yep, two rails he's tried. Well, extreme draw. He was prepared to move that ball nine feet backwards. Just watch where he was prepared to take the whites. And in that part of consideration, forgot about the pot. Yep, deliberately left that angle. Cushion first. Efren New cushion first with the side. Take the cue ball back around the angles and up the table. And this is probably as bad a lie as he could have got. Difficult position now to get onto the six. Hampered by the jaws of the middle pocket as well. But if he gets it. He's looking to bring it off that cush and that one about before. <laughs> Look at the incoming angle, given how near it is to the cushion. Perfect angle for him. Just where he wanted it. Rack over. Looking to come off the bottom. Bottom rail with left hand side here. Bottom and side. And this is rack over. Into the cush. Snage out. A matter of inches. Ball. Stone dead to make it even more simple. Just to go one rack away from the Whirlpool League title. Effort. Davis in his first ever major pool final. This is route number 14. The mountain to climb against one of the truly greats. A magician from the Philippines, Efren Reyes. It, Davis 5. One more mistake. I'll go and dry off this break. We'll let the magician in. Oh, savage, nasty, cruel game. Productive break, but just look where the two's landed. Blocked. Well, unfortunate there. Two, almost frozen to the green six ball. Ratio signates thinks out the possibilities. Looks back over all the shots he's played at pool and snooker since 1978 when he went professional. He likes the push. Pushing across the table. Trying to leave an edge of this two ball. Just attempt, just attempt maybe the magician to a shot too far maybe. It's a possibility said yep. He also knows if he's put back in, at least he has a safety. He'll be hoping that Efren hasn't got a bank shot on here. At worst, he'd be hoping to come back to the table. Why 
that little look at the area around the brown? <laughs> yes, Sid. And do you really mean a bank here? Yeah? Look at that for accuracy. And look at that for the leave if it missed. That's it. You've got to be a genius to split your bet that way. Playing the edge of this two. He needs to get safe. The green ball is saved. You there, the six ball. Like a medieval castle being besieged, somebody says, and the dragon's at the front door. And somebody run out and say, the dragon's at the back door. And somebody says, it's a two-headed dragon, Steve Davis. Trying might and main to keep this man at bay. Remember, Evan takes this rack, he's the champ. Likes that! Most emotion you'll see coming from him! <laughs> yeah, oh, he liked that a bit. A bit chuffed. Or whatever they say in Manila. Mucho summit. And in a funny poetic way, an apt sort of climax this is coming to, if indeed it ends soon, that Steve Davis is engaged in a battle of snooker with Reyes. Well, does that pass that orange? I think it does, Sid. And Steve knows if this two passes, a big chance this could be his last visit to the table. Beautiful 90 degree draw. Three into the middle, side, bottom, side cushion again, back out for the long four. Orange five in the same pocket. You got it, Sid. You don't need to be Mick Jagger to know the way down Route 66. And this particular route, nowhere near California. We're in Warsaw, and it looks as though the Philippine flag is going to be flying high soon as the magician waves his wand. And I'm telling you, when he struts his stuff, Merlin is strictly Vauxhall Conference. Eight ball into the same pocket. Effectively title ball, that. You said it, Andy! Le fan, too much! Effort into the left. Subscribe. See you in every video. Peace out.